ओम यथाग्ने दाहि का शक्ति राम कृष्ण ने स्थिता हिया सर्व विद्या स्वरूपांतान सारदाम प्रणमाम्यम बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ होली मदर वी हैव वंस अगेन असेंबल्ड टू रीड एंड डिस्कस द गॉस्पेल ऑफ द होली मदर वी वर रीडिंग द रेमिनिसेंसेस बाय श्रीमती शरुजू बाला देवी व्हिच वी फाइंड इन बांग्ला in the first volume of sri sri mayer katha that is the longest reminiscences on mother by the devotees and uh, swami arupanand ji he wrote the longest reminiscences of holy mother uh, uh, which was published in second volume of that same book we were reading i was not able to visit the holy mother for some days on account of the pressure of my school duties No sooner had I saluted her today than she began to show her love for me in countless ways. Bude was reading the Mahabharata. He was a mere boy and therefore could not read fluently. The mother had her other duties also to attend to. It was almost evening. She said to Bude, pointing to me, "Give her the book. She will read it quite easily." The reading cannot be stopped without finishing this chapter. It was her order, so I began to read the Mahabharata. Never before I read a book in her presence. At first, I felt a sort of sinus, but somehow I finished the chapter. The mother saluted the book with folded hands. We went to the shrine to witness the evening worship. The mother took her wonted seat and soon. become absorbed in meditation this is uh, the picture it happens to us also and we feel that uh, mother shows or thakur shows extra love to us when we could not see them uh, for a long time what happens we meditated them every day in Her heart, but she resides in temple, and uh, if we do not visit those temples for a long time, if you are really an ardent follower, you will find that there is uh, that from the face of Sri Ramakrishna, the face of Holy Mother, the face of from Sri Ram, from Swami Vivekananda, the direct disciples, some extra love is radiating. You can feel it. as if they were waiting for you they were longing for you as our mother used to long for us and in those days holy mother was in her physical form and she could show this sarjuwala dev was now a teacher of uh, saradeshwari school and there she had more duties so she could not come to mother for a long time as soon as she saluted mother mother showed her love for me for her in countless way she found that holy mother was hearing a reading of reading from mahabharata the small boy bude he was reading as he was not that much conversant in sanskrit he could not complete it um, properly so as soon as and it it was the custom that if you have if you read uh, mahabharata you have to complete when you are um, reading something ritually you have to complete one chapter at least and so holy mother was uh, thinking how to uh, stop reading without completing this chapter so she told her she, she told bude pointing to the lady that uh, give this book to her she will read it very easily initially she was feeling the same shyness that we are now feeling reading the gospel of holy mother and feeling that she is present in front of us and hearing her story uh, in this subtle form uh, <laughs> and then slowly she started reading the book and the chapter was finished holy mother saluted the book that is one thing sri ramakrishna had a divine darshan while doing sadhana at the chineshwar once he saw at the sri krishna temple a ray of light is coming out from the foot 
of the divine uh, form of shri krishna and from there it is touching the uh, book bhagavatam and then it touched the heart of shri ramakrishna and then it is going back from from the way from the place where it was it had started its journey uh, from the very darshan shri ramakrishna had gathered this idea that three are one bhagwan bhagwa bhagavat bhakto and bhagwan the lord the book which contains the story of the lord and leela of the lord and the uh, devotee the three are same it is same the very image of lord gives a divine love for us the divine form we can meditate upon the divine form after seeing the divine form in image the same thing that leela of the book contains the leela of the lord which helps us to meditate but unless and until it can touch the love for the lord and love for his leela can touch the heart of the devotee it will not get the complete fulfillment and therefore these three are necessary and the three are one so after the reading of mahabharata holy mother um, holy mother made pranams to the uh, mother saluted the book after that she readily got up uh, to join the evening worship she sat she sat on her seat and soon became absorbed in meditation the mother completed her japa uttering the name of god in a loud voice and bowed down before the image of shri ramakrishna the prasada was then distributed to all after this the conversation drifted to our daily duties the mother referring to her own busy days at jayambati said always we engaged in some work or other it is conducive to the health of both the body and mind in many in my early days at jayambati i was always busy with some work or other and would have never visit my neighbors for people would hard blurt our blurt out at the very sight of me saying dear me shama's daughter has been married to a lunatic i avoided meeting anybody in other in order to escape such criticism mother completed her japa and uh, uttering the name of god in a loud voice in bengal or in india it is known as giving jayadani jay shri guru maharaj ji ki like that after the sandhyaarti we used to chant like that in the same way she did and made pranams before shri ramakrishna's image then the distrib- after the pres- distribution of prasada they both sat together talking about their day to day work lifestyle of day to day lifestyle she told that everyone should have work everyone must work why they should work if they are engaged in their in their self then there will be no time for people to join in the pnpc project that is poroninda porocharcha criticize finding out the fault of others and discussing about the same thing which is very common in Uh, the <laughs> devotees ramakrishna devotees they first come to uh, the temple to do japa meditation and after completing that uh, while taking the news of each and other they started doing this i knew a lady she was nearly 70 or 75 years old she was uh, uh, she was very pious every evening after doing her japa and meditation for at least 3 hours she used to lie down till 9 o'clock so that she can have her food at that time but while she used to lie down she used to hear songs from radio one day i heard her singing uh, hearing the song of kishor kumar from a very popular uh, film 
বেঙ্গলি ফিল্ম কল অমানুষ কি আশায় বাঁধি খেলাঘর বেদনার বালু চরে সো আই টোল্ড হার আর ইউ আফটার ডুইং থ্রি আওয়ার্স অফ মেডিটেশন ইউ আর হিয়ারিং দিস সং ইজ ইট নট গুড আই থিঙ্ক ইউ মাস্ট গো টু সাম টেম্পল অ্যান্ড জাস্ট লাইক আদার লেডিজ দে ইউজ টু গো দেয়ার দেন শি ইজ টোল্ড মি স্লোলি ইউ সি in uh, we go to the temple only to become only to make us good if you go to the temple you will find that those devotees are talking about the injustice have been done with them the tortures have been done with them by the daughter in laws or some other people in their in laws so if you go on hearing this you will find that your mind is getting down going to the temple going to the lord praying to the lord means you want to make yourself a good one if it doesn't happen after going there then it is no use of going to the temple it is better to hear this song kiya shai bandi kelagor bedonar balu chori that was mother is telling always be engaged in some work or other because it is good for the health for both body and mind khudiram chattopadhyay the father of sri ramakrishna he had no time to visit his uh, neighborhood because he was so much engrossed in puja work of raghuvira the whole day he was busy with that from early morning he used to do japa meditation then he used to go to pluck flowers then he used to Uh, started preparing uh, for the puja take takes ba used to take bath then do puja then again used to do meditation after s- taking noon food he used to sit outside of the house and with the habul bagul so that people who used to go in fr- who used to pass in from in front of his house used to call them used to make them sit take them little rest offer them habul bagul and after taking the kilas those people used to start for their own work then again in the evening he used to engage himself in deep meditation and sandhya vandana at night he used to take food and goes to sleep he don't have time he was so much engaged in himself that he do not have enough time for doing other thing mother is telling like this mother is telling in her early days when in those days people used to think that sri ramakrishna has become lunatic wherever she used to go she used to hear that oh, shyama's daughter has been married to a lunatic holy mother used to feel pain for that and for that she stopped meeting with all people just in the open square in front of the holy mother's house there live some people belonging to some parts of india outside bengal they earn their livelihood by hard manual labor one of them had a mistress they lived together once the mistress was seriously ill referring to her illness the holy mother holy mother said he nursed her with great devotion i have never seen before i i have never before seen anything like that he has shown a real spirit of service she began to speak highly of the devotion of this man the idea of a mistress would certainly have been have made us turn up our noses in disgust ah how often we fail to recognize goodness when veiled in evil grab a poor up country woman from the house across the street came to holy mother carrying a sick child in her arm she solicited her blessings the mother was gracious to that to that child she said that the child would soon recover and blessed it two big pomegranates and some grapes had been offered to the offered in the shrine she handed over all these fruits to the poor woman saying give this to your sick child the mother was overjoyed at the generosity of the mother 
and repeatedly bowed down before her. Two stories are here. Just in front of Holy Mother's house, there some people, they are mostly laborers, they are uh, they used to say some parts of India outside Bengal. There, mother was talking about a person who has her, who has his mistress, and his mistress. Mistress means they are living. Nowadays we call it living relationship, and some extramarital relationship, or living without getting married. So holy mother was talking about that person. Uh, that mistress of that person was seriously ill and this gentleman, this man, nursed, the, nursed his mistress like anything. Holy Mother was praising about, with great devotion, he was praising about the uh, work, the nursing work or the service he had shown to his mistress. This lady was telling the idea of, of a mistress would certainly have make, made us turn up our noses in disgust. Ah, how often we fail to recognize goodness when veiled in an evil grab, God. This is how Holy Mother used to find out goodness among all people. She used to find out goodness among all. The difference between us and Holy Mother is there. If we have been for, have to face this position, we would have see, firstly seen the faulty relationship among the man and the women. But Holy Mother, going beyond to that relationship, was only talking about the goodness. Riviyat Swami Ranganathanandaji was our thirteenth president. He used to read books and people used to present their books and they want the, a review from Riviyat Maharaji. In later days when he became president, he did not have that much time to read all those books. So he used to give some book to his sevaks so that they can read and, and they can send a review to Maharaj so that that can be conveyed to the writer. So such a book came to uh, Riviyat Maharaj and Riviyat Maharaj gave it to a sevak. After uh, some days, he was asking, have you read that book? Sevak told, yes, I had read that book. How was the book? It is not at all good. Then Maharaj told, how was the printing? How, how was the printing? No, Maharaj, there were many mistakes. They had not taken proper care in proofreading. What about the content of the book? No, Maharaj, it is not that much good. Then he was very... He, with, uh, surprisingly, he was asking, isn't there a, not a single good thing you find? Then the Sevak told, yes, Mother, Maharaj, the binding of the book is very nice. Mother told, oh, yes, yes, that's it, that's it. He was overjoyed with the simple thing, very simple, but small, simple thing. They were all overjoyed with that. Riviyat Swami Smaranandaji was the General Secretary of Ramakrishna Mission when I joined at the headquarters under him. Riviyat Maharaji, we were making, preparing some forms. We do not have a proper idea how to prepare those forms. But getting such forms from other organizations and matching with our trusted rules, we prepared some forms. Later, after seeing those forms, I personally feel um, very shy because in those days we were such a stupid that <laughs> we prepared such useless thing. We did that form, we completed that form and then sent all the forms to all our assistant secretaries and revered General Secretary Maharaj, who is Swami Smarananji Maharaj. And we were waiting how the thrashing will come from some all. None of the assistant secretaries turned up. But in the evening, that envelope came back to me with a note from Swami Smarananandaji. He had written nice professional work. Beneath that note, he had put his initial S and had given the date. We were overwhelmed with the thing. Always we have seen 
when Smarananda Ji used to talk with us, he always used to stress upon the quality. If it, though it may be a small one, but he always used to stress upon the quality of a man, which he found we must uh, we must keep attention to it. Here also, Holy Mother gave all our attention. He went beyond the relation of a mistress and a master and told about how, how with all devotion he nursed her mistress. Now the second thing is there, a poor upcountry woman, she came to Holy Mother with a small ill child and begged her blessings. Mother blessed that girl and knowing her condition that this uh, this poor woman won't be able to feed this poor, uh, this uh, ill girl. She will not be able to give some fruits to that girl. She offered some pomegranates and some grapes to Sri Sri Thakur. And then she handed it over to this uh, lady and told her, then give this to your sick child. The mother, the woman was overjoyed at this generosity of the mother and repeatedly bowed down before her. This is how Holy Mother was teaching us how to deal with people and how to give attention to each and every. Next meeting was on 11th of February 1912. The moment I met the Holy Mother today and sat down after saluting her, she began to say with great sorrow, Alas, Girish Babu is dead. Today is the fourth day. His relative came to invite me to go to their house. Is it possible for me to go there anymore? What devotion for and faith in Sri Ramakrishna Giris had. Have you heard that this incident? He begged Sri Ramakrishna to be born as his son. Sri Ramakrishna said in reply, why should I care to be born as your son? But who knows, my child? The, the ways of the Lord, a son was born to Girish some time after the passing away of Sri Ramakrishna. A strange boy indeed. Even when he was four years old, he would not exchange a word with anybody. People could know his mind only from the gestures. His parents looked upon him as Sri Ramakrishna himself. They kept apart everything belonging to him, his dress, plate, cup, glass, etc. Nobody else would use those things. One day the boy became extremely restive to see me. My picture was in the upper floor of the house. He dragged the whole household there and uttering a cry, pointed out the picture to them. At first they did not understand him, then they brought him to me. Though he was but a little child of four, he prostrated himself before me. Then he went to the first floor and began to pull his father by his cloth. He wanted that his father would also, sh also should see me. Girish wept bitterly and said, I cannot, my dear, see the Holy Mother. I am a great sinner. But the boy was inexorable, so Girish had, had to yield. He took the boy in his arm with, the, with his whole body trembling and tears trickling down his cheeks. He came up and prostrated on the ground before me. He said, Mother, the boy has made me to see your holy feet, but the boy passed away when he was four years old. Once Girish and his wife were, talking, were taking the air of the roof of their house. I had been staying then at the house of Balaram. The, house, the houses were near each other. I also went to the roof that day. I did not notice that Girish could see me from the roof of his house. His wife said to him, Look there, the Holy Mother is, is pacing on the roof of the house. Girish at once, at once turned his back on me and said to his wives, 
no no i cannot thus stealthily took look at the holy mother my eyes are vicious he at once came down from the roof i heard this from his wife the day when uh, sir yuvala went to holy mother she found that holy mother is in deep grief deep sorrow because uh, girish chandra ghosh a great devotee of sri ramakrishna had passed away he had all love for sri ramakrishna once he begged to sri ramakrishna that you must come to my family as my son sri ramakrishna literally told that i don't want to come why should i come to be your son but later after the passing away of sri ramakrishna girish had a son but the boy could not the boy could used to never used to talk he only could exchange uh people used to people used to know his mind only from his gestures his parents but they all feel that sri ramakrishna himself had come therefore they prepared everything separately his dress plate cup glass etc every everything they used to keep it separate they are only used for that child only one day there was a picture at the first floor of the house of girish ghosh i had little doubt about this incident this first part of this incident the second part it is there then in, in, in after looking at that picture then pointing at that picture this little boy started dragging his parents that he should go to holy mother so his father took him to holy mother's house and this boy went upstairs to holy mother and prostrated in front of holy mother later he went down and dragged his father his father came up keeping that son in his arms but as soon as he prostrated in front of holy mother he started crying i cannot my darling see the holy mother i am a great sinner and after prostrating in front of holy mother he said mother this boy has made me see your holy fit though the boy passed away early but this incident happened in the life of holy mother and this had happened this made girish chandra ghosh to come nearer to holy mother to worship her lotus feet one day after passing away of sri ramakrishna holy mother was staying at the house of balram bose if you go to the house of balram bose you will find though uh, nowadays we will not be able to understand but earlier when original house was there these two houses were side by side so if anyone uh, stand at the house of girish ghosh can see the uh, roof of the balarambos's house girish ghosh and his wife they were taking air at the at the roof of their house suddenly they saw that holy mother suddenly the wife of girish ghosh saw that holy mother she is also um, she is also at the roof of balaram and as soon as she saw holy mother she told look mother holy mother is pacing on the roof of the house mas giri shatwan turned and back she told he told that i will not see holy mother in this way i cannot see holy mother in this way because my eyes are vicious not only that he literally closed his eye and came down to the ground floor by this incident we can understand how holy how pure is holy mother and what kind of attitude we must have for holy mother but she was she never posed this in front of us she has always posed herself as she was our own she is our own and we are her own children if holy mother permits then we will again sit once again to read and discuss 
the gospel of the holy mother o pranatana prasidattvam devi vishwarti harini trailokya vasinam inte lokanam vardabhava om shanti om shanti om shanti hari om tatsat shri ramakrishna arpanamastu